We watch more your short films and today we're going to talk about some of them. Popcorn Sunday is all about sharing and providing feedback on your short films. We've watched over 30 of them that you've shared with us, providing feedback so you can learn and make your next films better. If you want to submit your film to Popcorn Sundays, simply put a comment with it down below and tell us a little bit about it as well. We've also teamed up with Sunland Shorts Film Festival and they've provided us with a 50% off discount code, the film look, no spaces, so you can get money off when you submit your film. Sunland Shorts is our local film festival which we've submitted to in the past. We've got a close relationship with them as we're local filmmakers. More about the submission details at the end of this video. Let's talk about some of your short films. Alright, the first film we're going to be watching today is from one of our long-standing subscribers. He's been subbed to us since about 80 subscribers. Uh, it is called, let me check, it is called Dragon Ciego. I probably pronounced that wrong and it is by a filmmaker called Matthias Koroga. So your choice of shot, set design, music choices were all great. Um, it really gave us a sense of who the character was um, and about his past. Um, and it, you know what? It looked and felt like a film, which is really strange to say when you're talking about short films, but this definitely had the film look to it. If we had to give some feedback on this one, and we would be nitpicking, it's the shot where he's dusting down the photograph. So the only thing we think about is it's a little bit too long. We understand as a close-up insert, uh, the, the director's saying, look, you should be looking at this, this is important. But we feel if you cut to his reaction halfway through, uh, get his reaction of him feeling the feelings that he does when he's looking at the photograph, then cut back to him, finish dusting. It takes out most of that fat and it gets all the details that we need without it sort of elongated. We really liked the transition change between the dancing scene of him when he's older and when he's younger, especially when the lights go off. Um, it helps us be into that world and his into his memories about his past. Um, the whole concept of the film is really simple. It's a really good exercise in you know uh, trying to get the film up with your sim cinematography, but it still has an underlying story which a lot of people don't have. It gives you just enough like throughout, so it lets us question it. Um, I've seen a lot of like dancing films, like short dancing films in festivals before, um, and this is definitely one of the best ones. Because at least it tells a story about who he is now and his what he was like in the past and who he's lost. So if you haven't watched this short film yet, go watch it now. Link's in the description and the link's also to the other one we're going to be talking about right now. So the next film is called Memory Drive and it's from Carl Bourne. We really love the concept of this film, something so simple as a memory drive being around a lanyard on your neck and that if it gets deleted, your memories are deleted and you die. It's It's got a very much like a, a like a black mirror feel. We understand within the first few seconds exactly what this film is about and it's a great concept of show, don't tell. One of the criticisms that we have with this, it's difficult to understand when everyone's in that location where there's the car and the two people get taken away. It, it, you, you don't know that it's the same location. We needed a constant um, in that scene. So whether that was like a lightning strike or if you're just seeing more of the, the main character's car, which is red. And um, if we could see something in the scene, which the audience can always go, all right, we're back in that same time frame. That would have really helped this film because it was we had to like, okay, where are we now? Is this before? Is this after? Is this the same location as before? Because it was just a car park and car parks are quite generic. So you just need that little bit of constant in there. Once we did figure this out, you know, the intentions of each character was known, it was clear, um, but maybe you needed to treat the audience like they were a little bit more dumb. Um, like uh, we've putting that constant in, so it's just like, audience, here's the thing you always need to know and remember. That's fine to put in, it is. Normally with short films, we say they need to be shorter. With this one, we actually felt it could be a little bit longer. It feels like 
the the concept in the universe ab about this film could be you know a very tight feature we want to know more about this this main character and why they're being chased we want to know more about this guy in the suit like who is he what like government is he part of is he part what of the government his, what or is his drive yeah, yeah his drive so th it's very intriguing and that's what makes such a great short film is we want to see more in the future so thanks everyone for sharing your short films. It's been a pleasure watching everything. And if you want to submit your short film to Sunland Shorts Film Festival, there are just a couple of rules that you need to follow. First of all, you need to be 18 in order to submit. It needs to be less than 20 minutes long and it needs to be completed by January 2016. They aren't after anything that's a couple or even more years old. And remember the discount code for 50% off is the film look, all one word. Get some in.